Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your monthly love forecast for your tarot reading for Do They Miss You? And guys, I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I want to thank all of my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, I'm doing a free reading contest right now. All the information will be at the end of this reading. And um, also, guys, I will be doing a yes or no question at the end of this reading as well for any pressing question that you may have. Okay, so it'll be used, I'll be using the dice for this. And also in this particular reading, I'm going to be intermingling Oracle, Pro, Kipper, and uh, Kipper and Lenormand into this reading. So guys, if you like it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. So we're gonna look at what's currently going on with this connection. We're gonna look at what's the blockage here in this connection. Uh, what is their feelings for you? What is the action they're gonna take and what's the outcome for July? Okay, so let's jump right in here. So let's go to my Taurus's love connection, whoever they're here for, whoever they wanna know about, whoever they're wanting to know about them missing them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see for the month of July. Okay. What's going on with my Tauruses? For the love connection, whoever they're here for, whoever they want to know about, whoever they want to know about who's missing them. What's going on with this connection for the month of July? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on with my Tauruses with their love connection, whoever they're here for, whoever they want to know about with this connection, with the person who is missing, you're missing or wants to know if they're missing them. What's going on with this connection, their love connection, four Tauruses for the month of July. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. All right, so now let's switch this up here so you guys can see what I'm looking at. And let me move this over here. Okay, so we got the Nine of Cups energy for the current. We got the Hierophant card, and we got the Eight of Wands. So we can see that the Nine of Cups is telling me that there's some fulfillment of wishes here when it comes to marriage and long-term commitment because of some kind of communication or something that seems to be moving pretty fast or we can see that there's desires for a commitment here and communication okay also we can look at this from another way I want to fulfill my desires when it comes to marriage and long-term commitment and some kind of communication going further on this let's take a look at Lenormand something to do with ending healing conversation and then we see something that was really unexpected about a person coming out and some kind of meeting. Now, the good gentleman can represent an older person. It can represent someone giving good advice, okay? Or a person, person involved with the situation, a person who could be infringing upon the situation or trying to help the situation, okay? So, or the person you're giving the reading to. So we see that there is something ending, stopping, or completing when it comes to healing and some kind of conversation taking place. Something to do with money, okay, and a person and some kind of meeting taking place. Okay, it could be uh, socializing, going out. Uh, I feel like there's some kind of intermediary between you and this person possibly because this can be a, like, when you see the good gentleman, it could be a fatherly figure, it could be like an older brother, it could be uh, someone who's just trying to give good advice. So we see that I want to fulfill my desires and end something when it comes to something to do with money or gaining something of value here. I want to commit here and to some kind of healing here uh, because of some kind of good advice. Some kind of communication or something happening fast with a conversation about going out with the meeting card energy. Okay, so let's keep going here and also we can look at the numbers. Nine is desires for commitment and communication. That's the current situation. Okay, let's keep going here. So what's the blockage? So we can just see right here the blockages, this patient energy for things to be brought into balance something to do with a potential opportunity. Now that opportunity could be a work-related opportunity, right, Ace of Wands, it could be a passionate opportunity there, and a lack of hope there with the star card energy. Stress about house and family and emotions. Thoughts about happiness and receiving something of value. 
So there is a lot of thinking going on here, a lot of contemplating about wanting to be happy here and trying to get something of value out of this or wanting some kind of potential gift. So gift of value, something of value, like almost like the Ace of Pentacles, something tangible here. Um, the fish card could be something to do with money too, money, a gift of money and possibly something to do with a wish or hope or some lack of hope around this. Okay, mice card can talk about taking away something to do with house and family, stability and stableness and a lot of emotions at play. So summing this all up, it looks like there's a lot of thoughts about what's truly gonna make me happy here. Does this have value here? Is there a stable situation here? There's a lot of stress about emotions and a lack of hope here because of potential new opportunity for some of you when it comes to a, a potential passion, passionate situation. And um, this patient energy for uh, the emotions to come into balance or somebody wants things to be brought into balance here because the stress around thoughts. Okay. Let's keep going here. So how does this person feel about you romantically? How does this Taurus love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Taurus's love interest feel about you romantically, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. And then we also can pull that. High Priestess, Moon card energy. Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay. And we see the Snake card energy, the Bear card energy, the Person cards coming out. We see that the False person there or that Seven of Swords energy. Okay. And then we go further here very soon. Crossroads. Uncertainty. Okay. So for me, we see the Ace of Cups. We can see the feelings wise, this person has love for you. However, they are trying to gain knowledge. They want to be an open book about this love and they have a sense of confusion here. Why? Because they don't know if you feel the same way as they do. Because you see here, there is uncertainty, which is leaving them at a crossroads here, Taurus, because they want to make a decision very soon. Okay? So they're trying to make a decision about this, but they have uncertainty if you feel the same. So they feel like they can't be honest here. They do have a sense that you're very nurturing, caring, but they have a sense that there's still like a long road here. There is some desires here for want of control around this situation. And obviously a person card's coming out. The person can be the person involved with the reading, okay? The person that's about the reading or a person who is, you know, infringing upon the reading, okay? So we see that this person's like, all right, there's something secret here about this sense of confusion or trying to gain knowledge about this confusion because there is love here, Ace of Cups energy. This person's like, all right, there seems to be some lack of flexibility because of control of another person, possibly, or a lack of strength, courage, and confidence because of a person. Someone is not being completely honest about the fact that they feel like, man, there's a long road here, you know, or, you know, there's, there's still some, uh, um, a long way to travel here, whether that physically or mentally, because we're talking about Kipper when it comes to a person. And that's leaving this person at a crossroads because they're having confusion because they don't know if you truly love them, but they do truly love you here with the Ace of Cups energy. So I would say if you want to ask the question whether or not this person does miss you, obviously they're trying to make a decision about this because they... They do have a love for you. So this person does does miss you here. Okay, let's keep going. I want to see if they're going to take an action towards you. So let me move this out of the way. Okay, so we got the Nine of Swords energy, the Five of Swords energy, the Ten of Cups energy. Wow, okay. Okay, the Clover card energy, really good card. Person card, wow, yeah, okay. Okay, change card, sad news. Living room, good card. Okay, so coming to this. All right, so the Nine of Swords says there's stress here about this reconciliation and this change. We see I'm defeated here. Should I stand up and fight or walk away because of a person and this sense of sad news? Remember? Because they're uncertain whether or not you feel the same. This person wants, there we go. We see there's an action being taken here. Ten of Cups, complete happiness because of this 
action, because this is the Knight of Wands kind of energy towards passion, paying you a visit to have a meeting at an intimate place. There you go, a living room. Mm -hmm. An intimate meeting there mm -hmm, with this person because they're wanting to change some things when it comes to their sad news because they want to have a meeting here with you guys. So yes, this person is going to take an action towards you. I want to see what the outcome is going to be and then we're going to ask your yes or no question here. Okay, so we see the outcome, Ten of Swords, Four of Cups, and Queen of Wands. House and Family, Death card energy, Marriage card energy, Bouquet card energy, Improvements and Changes, Lilies, aw. Okay, so you guys can see that the outcome here is going on and saying there's something of a gift being happening here which is bringing some improvements and changes because of a long time. We see that there is this house and family and some sense of loss here because of marriage and long-term commitment but the marriage card is at the end of this so there's a want to have some kind of commitment, engagement or marriage there because that's like the ring card energy. House and family is being taken away for a commitment. We see the Ten of Swords is saying, all right, we're getting over this hurt and pain. There's an opportunity being offered or a sense of missing an opportunity here because of the fact that there's chemistry and passion. We see that there is this gift here, something to do with socializing to improve this situation and because there's wisdom around this. And then we look at the numbers of this. Ten, there's something being completed here because of stability and stableness. And Queen of Wands is saying, okay, there's some passion and chemistry going further here. There's going to be some options coming up, Seven of Cups energy and Five of Wands because of arguments and disputes, but Six of Wands is saying you're going to get a victory here. Going further here, something to do with a person who is isolated and separated, who has some kind of movement here with the journey card traveling toward you. There's an opportunity here to overcome these blocks, delays, and challenges and something really hopeful about this with the Star card energy. Okay, now I want to take a look at... I want to take a look at your yes or no. So whatever you wanted to know about here, whatever you wanted to know about, this pressing question that you wanted to know about, the positive numbers are going to be for yes and odd numbers are going to be for no. So whatever Taurus wanted to know here, positive for yes, odd for no. Okay, let's see here. Oh my goodness. Whatever it was, Taurus, it is definitely yes. Positive, positive, positive. Yes. Okay. All right, let me switch cameras up here. All right, my beautiful Tauruses, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I am still doing the free reading contest. All you have to do is put soulmate in the comments below and I'll be picking three people for a free uh, personal reading. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in another day or two. You guys can let me know in the comments below what reading you want me to do next as well. I definitely want to hear from you guys. I love hearing from you guys. Guys, have a great rest of your month. Definitely it's going to be a great rest of your month. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon.